Hello and welcome to the channel. Like a well orchestrated scum, INEC ripped millions of Nigerians off first with the sham election on February 25th and then again on March 1st with the announcement of Bola Ahmed Tinubu as president elect. Will they be third time lucky at the election petition tribunal or will they finally meet Doomsday? Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. As Hynek defends Tinubu's election in courts, a five member panel of the Presidential Election Petition Court, presided over by Justice Arunat Samani, had on June 23rd adjourned hearing till July 3rd in three different petitions seeking the nullification of the election that produced Senator Bola Ahmed Sinyubu as president. The five-man panel specifically adjourned to the set date for respondents in the various petitions to open their respective defenses in the petition, shortly after the petitioners closed their individual cases. The March 1st declaration of candidate of the Hull Progressives Congress APC, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Sinyubu as winner of the February 25th presidential election, has not gone down well with some of the contestants of the poll. Out of the 18 political parties that fielded candidates for the election, five were strongly dissatisfied and hence, within the 21 days stipulated by law, registered their grievances at the presidential election petition court, the court of first instance for presidential election cases. However, at the commencement of hearing on May 30, the Haction Alliance AA announced the withdrawal of its petition, challenging the declaration of Tinubu as winner of the February 25th presidential election. Few days later, the Haction People's Party APP followed suit, thereby leaving the Labour Party Hull P, the Halite People's Movement APM, and the People's Democratic Party PDP to go ahead in proving the allegations against the independent. National Electoral Commission, INEC. Tinubu, Vice President Koshim Shetima and his party, the APC, who are all respondents in the remaining three petitions, pending at the PEPC, sitting at the Court of Appeal, Abuja. INEC Chairman Professor Yakubu Mahmoud, at, at the end of collation of results of the presidential elections on March 1st, 2023, announced Tinubu of the APC as the winner of the presidential election. According to him, Tinubu had polled a total of 8,794,726 votes to emerge victorious. He was closely followed by candidates of the PDP, Al Arji Atiku Abubakar, who scored 6,984,520, and Peter Obi of the Hell P, who scored 6,000,000. 101,533 votes to come second and third, respectively. Displeased with the declaration, Atikwan Obi had approached the court to argue and prove that Tinubu did not win majority of lawful votes, as claimed by the electoral umpire. They submitted that as at the time Mahmoud announced Tinubu as winner, collation was ongoing since many of the presidential election results were yet to be uploaded onto the INEX results viewing IREF portals. They also accused INEC of manipulating the process to favor the ruling APC on Tinubu. Specifically, the petitioners predicated their grievances mainly on alleged irregularities, substantial non-compliance with the electoral laws, corrupt practices, and Tinubu not being qualified to contest the election among grounds of double nomination of his vice president, criminal forfeiture of a sum of $460,000, perjury, and dual citizenship. The non-compliance substantially affected the result of the election in that Tinubu ought not to have been declared or returned as the winner of the election, Atiku submitted. In proving all these allegations, Atiku and Obi called in a total of 40 witnesses and tendering a plethora of ex exhibits to prove their petition against the election of President Tinubu. While Atiku in his petition marked CAPEPC052023 called in 27 witnesses to establish his allegations, or B in his petition marked CAPEPC03 
1-800-242-2023 called in 13 witnesses. The witnesses on both sides, including willing and subpoenaed party agents, are in ad hoc staff who participated in the February 25th presidential election as well as experts. Within the three weeks allotted at TIC 1 or B to substantiate the allegations, they told through INEX ad hoc staff how technical glitches at the point of uploading the captured presidential results to the IREF portal affected the expectations of the election. They further maintained that the said technical glitches were related only to the presidential results as other results like the senatorial and House of Representatives polls were electronically transmitted to the portal seamlessly. Besides, the petitioners pointed out that the inability or failure to upload the presidential results in real time was deliberate, contrary to the allusion to technical glitches. This was substantiated by a subpoenaed witness of the LP, Mrs. Mpe Clarita Oga, who told the PEPC that there was no technical glitch across all the six continents housing Amazon Web Services, AWS, on February 25th, when the presidential and National Assembly elections held. Oga claimed to be a cloud engineer working with AWS. Beside the testimonies of the witnesses, the petitioners presented before the court bundles of evidence such as polling units results, world's results, local government areas results, states results, as well as the final result, which they said INEC manipulated to make Tinubu president. However, many of these results were blurred according to Professor Eric Ofuedu, a mathematics professor and witness of OB, over 18,000 result sheets uploaded to the IREF portal were blurred. He claimed the above fact was discovered at the end of his investigation and analysis of the February 25th presidential results uploaded on the IREF portal. Among the states he claimed his investigation and analysis were centered on are Rivers and Benway. Subscribe, like, Share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. To prove further the allegation of non-compliance, both petitioners brought in video clips of the INEC chairman and a commissioner, Mr. Festus Okoye, assuring Nigerians of real-time transmission of results of the general election. The INEC boss could be heard in video clips saying, there is no going back on the use of Beaver's machines and on real-time transmission of the results from the polling booth to the INEX server. As if corroborating Mahmoud, the Commissioner for Information and Voter Education, Mr. Festus Okoye, in his own interview, also confirmed the two forms of collation of election results to include transmission from polling units, which will be taken physically to the World Collation Center. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.